Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. It's time for what's in your bag and we are going to the Dollar Tree. I picked up some items um, for me and my husband. We're going on a business trip and also for our kiddos as everyday things. So let's get started with this unbagging. First thing we got was a pack of paper plates. Um, when we go on vacations or when we go out of town, we like to use paper plates. That way the kids can just use it, toss what they need in the garbage and just go about the rest of their day. So we got a hefty soap proof 20 pack plates. Also, I got myself, I finally found this for my makeup area in my house. Um, and it's over, actually over there. And yeah, I had to get that done before we leave out of town. But I got myself a little makeup organizer and I thought it would be really nice to put in my makeup vanity area. And it has this big section here and these little um, areas right here. So I get keep my lipsticks here and maybe some concealer or, or maybe, ooh, or maybe my um, foundation going here. We'll find out really soon. And then I found the other one, which is the one that has the big on the top. And then the smaller compartments underneath. So hopefully I can put my lipsticks and some other stuff in there. So I was able to find those. And those were really hard to find actually in my Dollar Tree. Also for the house I got myself some carpet fresh. We have carpet in our bedrooms. And I like to sprinkle this on the carpets. Especially after everyone has gone about their day. And then I vacuum up later on during the day. So the house can have a really nice fun scent. And I always get the island scent or the older blaster one i like that one as well and i got two of these and one is already being used right now another thing i got if i don't pop myself in the head <laughs> another thing i got was this freshness citrus toilet spray um i just wanted to give this a try and see if it really worked it it's supposed to work like the national brand where you spritz it on the surface of your water. You use the restroom and it's not supposed to smell so bad. We're going to try this out while we're on vacation. We thought that would be a really nice thing to put in our bag to see if it actually worked out. Next bag we got. I got us some um, little baby wipes. And these are the sensitive kind so they're not going to be very like scenty i always put this when we go traveling this is just like for a quick wash up if i need to touch up um, my face like if i'm sweaty or whatever like that or we can put them in the car to wash our hands or whatever i always like to keep these in the car we ran out so this holds 72 and they're thick so i made sure to got a pack of those also we saw this in our dollar tree and this is the arm and hammer ultra max Advanced odor control 3-in-1. It has body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, and it is in the fresh scent. My husband's actually going to take this on our trip to use and try that out. And if we like it, we'll go ahead and buy him some more. Alrighty. Next thing is um, Lusty's Shea Butter Edge Control. I did get two of these. I always use these when I do my hair or my girl's hair. It has a super hold. It's not running. It's non-greasy, alcohol-free, and it protects against breakage. I actually like this brand, and Edge Control is pretty expensive, but with Dollar Tree, you can't go wrong, and I love it, especially when we do our updos and um, when I do my girl's twist and my twist. This works really well. All right. Also, we got... And I got two of those, actually. I got this for my husband as well. He loves this hair grease. So we made sure to get him his hair dress. Or his hair grease, especially after he cuts his hair. He likes to have this in his hair. And Dollar Tree had the little kind. And it is, I think it's like, what was it? Yeah, three ounces. So this is enough for him for his hair. So we had him make sure to get another one of those. Because we ran out from last time. Also, we got a thing of hand sanitizer. We like to make sure we have this in our bag as well. So what I'll do is split half of this with the kids because my daughter takes a hand sanitizer to school with her. Before she eats lunch, she likes to clean her hands and then we'll take some of this in our bag when we go on vacation this weekend. Also, I got my youngest daughter, her lady speed stick for her gym bag at 
for her gym bag, excuse me, with 48 hours of order protection. This is just a little one to put in her little gym bag. So after gym, she can go ahead, freshen herself up with her little baby wipes, put on her deodorant, and she's ready to go to her next class. All right. And this is our last bag. We're going to have, we got some charcoal facial wipes. And this removes dirt and oils, and it's a detoxification. I love taking these with me. I actually have a pack in my purse. I carry a pack in the car, and I'm going to put a pack in our suitcase for me. Um, just, you know, throughout the day, just that face freshness. So I got two of those. Also, I got myself some cleaning nose strips and charcoal. I believe there's what, a couple in here. Let me see. Yeah, there's three in here, and it's supposed to remove the blackheads and things off your nose and unclogs your cores and works in 10 minutes. I was going to give this a try, kind of like a mama beauty treatment while I was out of town, so I thought that would be kind of cool. And I also got myself an apple core. This is in the home section. I got myself one of these. I saw on a thing on YouTube where you peel a potato and then you use your apple core to slice it and it makes perfect size home fries and I'm going to try that for one of our freezer meals so I bought one of those I don't have one I also bought myself a wet and wild full healthy lash soy pro soy soy protein enriched clean defying mascara I'm actually almost out of mascara and it is a cruelty free item see if you can't there it goes it's a cruelty free item and it's an enhancer and it defines your lashes for healthier lashes I actually use the wet and wild and the purple which is the voluminous one that I love it but I didn't have that at mine I also got myself some more blush this is sun kissed tan blush in Blush and brush. So there's the blush. There's the brush. I don't use the brush. I just use the blush. And I needed more of that for a trip. I also got the Lusty Argan Oil Curl Wave Twist Shaping Gel. We use this when we do our girls' twist, my twist. Anytime I do an outdo where their little curls are out, I always do this as well. It does really good on their hair. All I do is wash it like normal put this in here along with their oils and it works just fine for our family and for a dollar and it's eight i think like eight ounces let me do that yeah it's eight ounces so that's not a bad thing and it has argan oil in it but we use that for their hair as well all right the next thing we got was my daughter's Feminine pad holders or their feminine hygiene hold I'm trying to move some stuff of it. Feminine holders. Um, they use these to keep their time of the month items in. And then my daughter will use this big one to carry her deodorant and her little body wipes and her um things like that for gym. So they have one they use for feminine hygiene products for like their pads and things like that. And then there's another one they use for their gym stuff. So those they got two of those. So one for one girl. One for the other girl. Then I got myself a wonderful, what is this? My, yes, my fashion scarf. I usually put this in my hair, especially when I'm doing little quick updos. Or if I'm, you know, put my makeup on, I do this. Or something whimsical. Or even just wear it as a scarf. I'm actually going to wear it during our meeting this weekend. So I thought that would be really nice, festive, and springy of me to do that. And so I got one of those. I am going to go back and get the other four they had in this this particular brand. Also, I got the Press Powder and the Color Mates. This is the Press Powder in Rose Blush. I like to use this over my foundation as the baking mechanism to bake my foundation. This works really well along with this for my blush. I, I have no complaints about the Dollar Tree makeup. I actually love it. I do go to Ulta Beauty to get my foundation and other things. But for like blushes and quick press powders and my um, mascara, I just go to the Dollar Tree. I had no complaints over it and my makeup looks awesome. I'll say my husband is a 
we are big movie buffs at our house, so we did find some awesome movies there. He got two Blu-ray DVDs. This one is The Warrior's Way. Then he got another Snow Girl and The Dark Crystal. This is Swords of the Assassin. He got a lot of Memories of the Sword. There's a lot of sword movies. <laughs> And Ace Man. So he got those DVDs to add to our family movie collection. And then, let me see. I think we got some more in here. We do. Okay. <laughs> I also got myself a head. A little hair wrap. Or a head wrap here. I use these when I do my makeup. Um, that way my hair is pulled back. I think it's really fun and a little cute. I like the little design on it. It makes it... Fun to put on your makeup. Fun to be a little girly girl. So I thought that would be awesome to try while I was doing my makeup. And I'm going to put that in my bag as well. And then we got ourselves some travel toothpaste. So Max Fresh Breath Strips. So we got two of these. And they are a perfect size to go traveling with. And they are, what is it, 7.9? No, 1.9 ounces. So I love using those for when we go travel. And also, we got oh, that was it. Oh, that was it. So that was all we got. So the last thing we got was the toothpaste, and so that was all. I mean, it's not all of it, but it's there. And we thank you so much for watching our channel. Please like and subscribe. And friends, that wraps up This Is What's In Your Bag for the Dollar Tree. We hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and wait for the next one. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss any time we post on our channel. And as always, from our house to yours, we wish you a wonderful and blessed day. And we'll catch you on the next one.